Ladies and gentlemen, mains and main net, Shinobi Nation and the Buster Busters Unite, we are here with a brand new reaction video. Now you see the thumbnail, you see the title, I know what you're thinking. We finna play Judgment, we finna play Ram Shadow. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Now I've seen some of y'all comments for the finale for Gears of War 3, and I feel y'all, I see y'all, but I don't think I'm actually gonna play Judgment or the DLC for the third game. And my reasoning is, even though Judgment seems to be a short game, we got a lot of new games coming up and it's a lot of other content I wanna get out. And since this isn't one of the main Gears games, I know it is but i'm gonna skip it but i do want to know what it's about and i want to make some type of content for the people that want me to know what it's about so we're going to be reacting to the lore of gears of war judgment now when it comes to the gears of war 3 dlc i still can't figure out how to start that mug if y'all left a comment on the last video and i didn't see it i apologize but it has something to do with ram shadow or ram himself rom or whatever from the first game he got the krill right i don't even care about dude but i did find a review of that dlc to let me know what it was about and of course y'all can let me know what it's about as well and i probably will still play these games on my lonely so i can know the full lore for myself but with that being said let's get into the lore for gears of war judgment now gears of war judgment is often seen as the black sheep of the gears franchise right a game that was released after arguably one of the best gaming trilogies of all time oh so this came out after the third to one. recapture the same magic mm, the okay. game of course had many flaws and died out quickly however gears judgment also had its positives that really do go under the radar. Let me know, cuz. So Let as me know. always, I'm your host, hey. Dabs. And here is the underrated law of Gears of War Judgment. Gears Judgment decided to paint its narrative around the early events of the Locust War. Uh, to be precise, cool? the destruction of the city of Halvor Bay. A story Bay. about the sarcastic arsehole known as Damon like Baird Shepard, and his female. squad. Since we never knew much about Baird's past from the original games, okay, as well as Baird being a fan favourite alongside other members of Delta Squad, so it made for a reasonable choice. We also okay. see the appearance of Gustus Cole, the Coltrane, yeah. where we witness some of his very early days in the COG as a newly enlisted gear. The story revolves skinny? around Kilo Squad him? disobeying orders to deploy a light mass missile to stop the mighty General Khan and his forces and are put on trial for various crimes by Colonel Ezra Loomis. Ezra the squad Loomis. are given the chance to explain their actions. And so, we yeah. get to see the different characters of Kilo Squad. The two new characters introduced are Garen Paddock and Sophia Hendrick. Sophia. They are unique okay. characters with different personalities, Taking but notes. also represent the UIR and Onyx Guard respectively, which brings a whole different perspective to the story. Garen Paddock represents the UIR and Graznia, someone who joined the COG through the Open Arms program okay. to get revenge on the Locust for the bloodshed of his Graznian people. Let me pause it real quick. I'm, I'm gonna get back to it because y'all told me that some of these characters in Judgment and I think the Ram Shadow will show up eventually later in 4 and 5. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm quiet, but I'm listening. I will give my thoughts later on. So think of this. This is a chill reaction learning video. Let, let me learn and y'all can, you know, teach me in the comments too. But he despised the COG and he despised men like Colonel Ezra Loomis. Damn. While Sophia Hendrick represented the elite Onyx Guard unit, she was a known trainee and a graduate of the Onyx Guard Academy, but she was formerly a media correspondent for the COG during the Pendulum Wars. The Onyx Guard Academy also housed specific labs where professors and trainees would test and design new equipment and weapons for the COG. Carmine. Sophia had a by-the-book attitude she was assigned to ensure that Garen Paddock did not steal any COG military technology, but she ended up helping him anyway out of mm. a desire to Yo, get revenge on General Khan for slaughtering her friends in the Onyx Guard. Mm. Now there was also the introduction of Colonel Ezra Pound Loomis, a brave but somewhat irrational gear officer. Okay. After emergence he day, like a Loomis buster. struggled to deal with fighting the Locust as he was unable to adjust his tactics to fight the Locust Horde different to how he fought the UIR in the Pendulum Wars. Loomis was a Pendulum War veteran, where he climbed up the ranks, and during the events of Gears Judgment, he is a colonel in the elite Onyx Guard. Loomis and Paddock shared the same resentment towards one another, with Loomis stating that he would shake General Khan's hand for killing the worthless Indies of Garaznia. But eventually, Closing after Khan was smooth. killed, Loomis Damn. attempted to shake Paddock's hand to thank him for saving his life in the courtroom when it was breached earlier, but Paddock refused to shake his hand. <laughs> Having lived his whole life in the military, Loomis was unconcerned with the lives of civilians, and he was dedicated to doing things completely by the book, 
with complete dedication to the values of the cog. Despite his rigid and uncompromising nature, so, Loomis was a brave gear with an unshakable demeanor. So he like a Prescott, Colonel Prescott, but or uh whatever his name was, but way better. The one that died in Gears 3, way better though, he seems. This bravery still was like a acknowledged buster. even by those who disliked him and earned him the title of Hero of Halvor Bay. Following okay. his death, defending the city Damn. after the events of Gears <laughs> Judgment. However, his rigid principles made him a highly inflexible and irrational officer as he refused to postpone Kilo Squad's trial while the locusts were literally attacking them right outside their doors, Damn. much to his honest guard's disdain. He's, this he's resulted in many of his own soldiers being killed. Moving away from the cog, we of course had the locust horde in Gears Judgment, mm. but leading them was a different sort of threat and challenge for the Gears. A locust that was unlike Ram or Scourge. This uh -oh. was General Khan, a locust what the known freak? for brain rather than brawn. Oh, he was gosh. considered a master planner and a superb commander when okay. it came to leading the charge on the battlefield. Khan had weak physical attributes, but this didn't matter. So, so far we got, like he said, Rom, Scourge. Scourge is the one that killed uh, Moana Uncle. I thought killed uh, Dizzy. And now we got General Khan and as well as the Queen. So far, those are like the four big shots when it comes to the Locusts, even though most of them are already dead. I'm as assuming he had his personal mount, which was a mighty died. creature known as the Shibboleth that shared a bond Yuck. with General Khan. Together, they were a force to be reckoned with. Alongside General Khan and the returning Locust, like the Cantus, the Drones, the Boomers, and so on, mm. we saw the introduction of the Locust Ragers, which, Ragers? as their name suggests, could metamorphose into a monstrous form, oh my bursting gosh. into animalistic fury Excuse on me. anyone in their way, presenting a new challenge on the battlefield but also yeah, showcasing no. another Locust variant that was present in the early Locust War, but died off before the events of the very first Gears of War game, okay, which was set 14 him. years after the Locust War began. Ultimately, okay. even though Gears of War Judgment had its flaws, it did present new ways to shed some light on factions yeah, seems, and perspectives that weren't previously really touched upon, along with creating another unique Locust General and a Colonel that was an antagonist in his own right as well. Yeah. And so that, I believe, is the underrated law of Gears of War Judgment. Drop a like if you Damn, enjoyed this small video, subscribe okay. for more similar content like this, and I'll leave a link at the top right of the screen if you want to watch my other law videos as well. Shout out to the shout out to Dabs, man, or, or King Abs, Abs, whatever you say, he said Abs, I thought he said Dabs, that's why I... But no, this game seemed interesting. I definitely will play it on my lonely, but I, this this helped a lot. I know it's a prequel before everything. I didn't know it came out after Gears 3, though. So that's good to know. And it, it, it tells me some stuff, you know. I know some new characters now. New generals when it comes to the Locust. I know he died, though, anyway. This colonel, which is like a Hoffman and a... And a uh, what's his name? Pres it was Prescott, right? The one that died in 3. Like a fusion of Hoffman and Prescott, but a little bit better while also still being a buster. But again, y'all let me know anything else I need to know down in the comments. Comment. And next up, I have a review for Rom Shadow. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a full recap, but we have this review. It's five minutes, so hopefully it will tell us everything we need to know about this DLC, especially when it comes to the lore stuff. So let's check it out. Blistered thumbs. I've been playing the game too much, my boy. Put the controller down. Just remember, little one, in life, Is that there will always be struggle. Such is the nature of things. I think but the DLC life, was another prequel, right? There's also hope. Damn. Little lad boy. There you go. Oh, is the Krill back in this DLC? I definitely ain't playing this much. Who is that? Young Jace? He was already young. Who the hell is that? So it's just new new people? Yo. New playable people. Okay. Okay. Pushing cars. Despite the fact that the Gears of War series is at an end with the third installment, it doesn't mean that there can't be side stories told of the conflict on Sarah. Flash, Released flash, on December flash. 13th for the Xbox 360, Rom's Shadow is a story campaign that serves as a prequel to the original Gears of War. Couldn't even find it. As okay, per it's usual, prequel. it's time to answer the questions that often arise with downloadable content. What's in it? How much does it cost? And is it worth the price of entry? 
will allow me to answer these questions for you before you spend your hard-earned cash. The setting right, of Rom right. Shadow is, as I said cash, before, and I can't prior to the events of the first Gears of War. You play as Michael Barrick and Zeta Team, Michael which is led Barrick. by Lieutenant Kim from the original Gears. The team consists of the aforementioned Kim, yeah, the yeah. Barrick, a character from the Gears of War comics, a younger, slimmer Ooh, Ty Kalizo from Gears of War 2, and a new character named Alicia Ty. Valera, who is voiced by Alicia Tyler. The story tells two sides okay. simultaneously, though, as you also control General Rom and some of his elite soldiers as they prepare the way for the mass genocide of an we entire city. Him? The story's quality is good for an action oh. title. It's not exactly a character-driven story, but it does keep a basic idea of what story it wants to tell and then molds the action around it. They gotta be Jace. The thing about Epic and the Gears series is they become masters at telling a good story that allows them to blow things up the same way that other major shooter developers do without compromising the quality of the plot. Thus, we get an airtight narrative with some great storytelling moments that don't often break for a cutscene and a bathroom break. <laughs> I often use the Predator reference with Gears, and I think it still holds true. Look at you Ty. got cool characters that are a little more than archetype that are fun to be around, and you get to see them in dark scenarios fighting monsters. Facts. I think the main purpose of the story, though, is to flesh out the Gears universe. Okay. What we see here is the beginning of the Locust Slaughter, and there's a reason I use the word genocide. These things are the lizard version of Nazis. Race superiority <laughs> and all. They kill indiscriminately, and thus the story is very dark throughout. If you don't like action plots with serious moments and dark moments, you're going to hate this DLC because it takes it very seriously. Damn. For okay. those who enjoy this type of narrative, though, you'll love it, because all the dark moments make the heroic moments and moments of success that much brighter. Going on about developing the Gears universe, the great dialogue that the series has shown throughout still applies to the DLC. Regular banner between the Gears tells us exactly what the cog is Same and what scene, life is like story. on Sarah for these people. It's harsh, it's bloody, everything wants to kill you, and the government you're serving is comparable to the Soviet Union. What's even <laughs> cooler about this is the fact that you get to play as the aforementioned monsters. That's crazy. Playing as Rom serves a point within the story beyond That's just gonna, killing oh, the cool things and mixing things up Hell in the campaign. No. Because you get to see exactly how malicious and evil these beasts are on top oh, of the power nah, that they bro. You learn Not the Locust like method and see exactly how cold the Locust War Machine is. That's now that I've got cool. all the story bits out of the way, let's talk about the content of the downloadable content beyond the storyline considering the gameplay and presentation cool. haven't changed too much. Were you to read a press release, it would sound very simplistic. Rom Shadow contains three and a half hours of a new campaign, three six new multiplayer hours? skins, and a few That's new solid. weapon skins. It doesn't sound like much on the paper, right? Wrong. There's quite a bit to enjoy here. The extra okay. skins and weapons are just icing on the cake. The meat of the DLC, the campaign itself, is right on par with the rest of Gears of War 3's disc-based single player. Okay. Rom hey. Shadow is three plus hours of intense combat that gives you quite a bit of bang for your buck. Aside from the fact that you get to play as some awesome locust units to mix oh things up gosh. in the story, Freaking the scenarios the that the game throw at you within the DLC are fantastic. No Each new section is an action-packed romp that delivers every thrill that the series has been able to give up to this date, from suspense up to just tight action. The firefights are excellent. It's a great time for you and up to three other friends, and it never disappoints. I might drop more to play. The only one problem day. is that sometimes the AI has issues, but Yusuf already covered that in his review of the full title, and I'd suggest that you read that review. My British friend was running the money with it. To close this one <laughs> out, I think that the last thing that needs to be said is that Rom Shadow follows what should be considered the legacy of Gears of War. Oh, Though wow. the pretentious will make brown jokes and portray masculinity as a negative, those who see the game for what it is will see the best shooter series of this generation. I agree. Rom Shadow is an sleeping. excellent piece of DLC that is worth the price Franchise of bus. Most shooter expansions are sold on discs for about $40 to $60 and give about the same amount of content. In fact, I'd argue that this game contains almost as much as Halo 3 ODST, but it's one quarter of the cost. I may play the Halos if one day. If you enjoy Gears of War, you need to pick up Rom Shadow the minute ah. you have the time. Then again, okay. if you have the season pass, you get what I consider one of the best pieces of downloadable content that I've played this I year bought the season for pass, free. I right bought the right now season I'm pass. kicking myself for not buying that season pass. I bought the season for pass. For the full write up, head to blisteredthumbs.net. Shout out to this video. That was smooth. So what is what I'm learning? Rom Shadows and, and, and Judgment were both prequels before the events of Gears 1. And it kind of just expands the Gears lore. Smooth. Once again, let me know any extra fun facts and stuff I really need to know. I'm probably going to watch these over and over again. But before I do that, go back into Gears 3 because I bought the freaking season pass. Quick resume. Damn, I didn't close out of this last time. Okay. Um, Go in here. Campaign. See how it says coming soon right here? This got to be rom shadow but if i go to my games and apps or actually just just click on this manage game and add-ons right here 
installed the gears of war 3 season pass and if i go hold on real quick maybe it's i got the season pass but i have to install the actual you know dlc though let's see okay packs packs i saw a ram shadow pack too but this is a pack like this ain't the store i'm not about to buy this again after i bought the inkling content not downloaded from xbox live you be charged twice the hell am i missing something y'all i don't know y'all uh some don't want me to watch ram shadow but I, I probably will watch somebody else play it or something at, at, at you know worst case scenario but these two games this dlc and judgment look very promising i learned a little today can't wait to learn more but as of right now this is going to be our end our temporary end of our gears of war journey four and five will make it on the channel eventually we still have a lot of time because e-day doesn't come out probably going to come out like 2026 let's be honest because 2025 is going to be a, a a banger year when it comes to gaming and while it would be nice if e-day could come out next year i honestly don't see it happening but you never know with that being said i'm gonna end this up right here once again let me know everything i need to know down in the comments and until the next video i hope y'all enjoy if you did do me a favor hit the like button subscribe if you're new hit the bell so you know when i'm posting man share the content share the channel do all of that i'll see y'all in the next one it's your boy kai smg peace